Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. Today's topic is going to be on Chargaff Oud. I know that you saw the thumbnail, so I hope you are interested in talking about that topic with me. I have four that um, I have kept in my collection. I had a total of actually six, uh, but two of them we'll talk about at the end to why I decided to go ahead and pass them on to someone else. So if you are interested in Chargaff Oud collection, then stay tuned. All right, so let's just jump right into it. You will see me looking down because uh, I want to make sure that I am actually telling you the correct names of each one of these. Because um, uh, some of some of the names uh, are are a little bit hard for me. <laughs> uh, so I'm pulling up the one right now and making sure that I'm saying it right. All right, so I won't hold you. Let's just jump right into it. Um, I wanted to actually pull up the name uh, of each one of them so I can make sure that I am actually telling you about it. This is really my first one. Uh, and I want to start off with the new ones. Uh, the new ones I'm not that familiar with uh, yet, but I, I do want to still discuss it with you. And this one here is called Shagaf Oud Hamir. Right, Shagaf Oud Hamir to me is a beautifully fruity powdery vanilla base but with some freshness right so the notes you're going to get is going to be peach and freesia apple tonka bean rose amber sandalwood and like this argot oud note right gorgeous gorgeous scent out of the new ones that I did receive, I really am enjoying this one. I am enjoying this one. I think that is unisex. I think it would be great on male and females. Uh, chemistry, beautiful, beautiful scent. This is a beautiful scent. Chargaff Oud Tonka is another new one that I got into my collection. Um, I will admit before we go deep into it, this is one that I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. Uh, but just to tell you what the notes are, it is almond, cinnamon, orange blossom, Turkish rose, tonka bean, and amber wood. This one is good. Now, the almond in it, uh, it can come off a little synthetic. So I know you probably heard many people say that. Uh, if you like almond gourmand scents, you will really enjoy this one. Uh, but don't heavy spray this. Like, don't over spray it. Uh, spray it lightly. <laughs> uh, it is a powerhouse scent. It will last on your skin. It will last on your clothes. Uh, just be aware that that almond is like a Jergens almond. Like, you know, if, you, if you've ever smelt the lotion, Jergens lotion, and it has like that cherry blossom almond note, then that's this in a bottle. That is what Chargaff Oud Tonka is to me. All right, Chargaff Oud uh, Aswad to me is the male counterpoint point, uh, to counterpart to Chargaff Oud, the original, right? They took Chargaff Oud, which is duping um, Oud Bouquet, and added leather to it. So the notes in this one is rose, saffron, woody notes, argot oud, cumin, card uh colander, jasmine, leather, sandalwood. So this is a heavier scent. This is heavy. This is a heavier scent. Out of all of the four that I have, I would say that this would be my least favorite. And I think that's because I don't really like leather, right? I'm not really that big on leather notes. Uh, but I believe that if someone who's into like a heavier, thicker scent, this would be great. This would be a wonderful one to go with, like an absolutely wonderful one to go with. All right, the last one I have in my collection is going to be Chargaff. Ooh, this is the original, the gold one. And I know you you probably have heard a lot about this one. This is a great one to start off if you like Ooh Bouquet. 
because you're going to get the rosy gourmandness of it. This one has rose and praline, uh, argyle oud, and vanilla. It's not a whole lot to the scent. Uh, so that's why I feel like this is a really great starter one to it. But if you are looking for oud bouquet, which is what this is duping, then save up and get oud bouquet. Because this is more uh well rounded more developed it's 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 similar to oud bouquet but oud bouquet is still going to win it out uh if this is what you're searching for now if you want to start at the affordable price that these are then go get this one because it's not a bad scent it is just not exactly oud bouquet uh like everyone is saying it is one of its own. It has that uh, gourmand praline note to it. It has the rosiness in it. You do get this woody argyle wood, but not everything that comes with oud bouquet. So that's this one here. Now I do have two, uh, and I said we were gonna talk about it. I have two in my collection, or I did have two <laughs> in my collection, and I just, I just didn't wanna stick with them. Uh, the first one, which was a no for me, this was a no, um, and that is Shargoff Oud at a year. This one here, it was a no for me because it, it was so smoky and woody and balsamic and thick that I just, I could not get into this one. I could not get into this one because of the smoke that's in it, um, the um, oregano, or, 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 can I even get it out? Oregano, the pimento seed, the myrrh in it was, was not like a myrrh and tonka type myrrh. It was almost like a really dirt, like the scent came off really dirty to me from the smokiness, the oud and everything. So, and, and then on top of that, they, it had leather. <laughs> so it was, it, it wasn't one of them that I, that I really enjoyed. And then the last one that I had and I ended up uh, passing on was Shargoff Woman. And that one was, it was such a simple scent. So Shargoff Woman looks like this. Uh, it was a very simple scent. It, it had citrus in it. But for me, it was the citrus and the lemon. That simp the, the citrus and the lemon that was in it just did not work with my chemistry. It came off real um, musty, actually, for me, and I would. It was one of the ones I had to. I had to go and wash off. <laughs> like I wanted it off. I could not figure out what is it about this scent because it says it has citrus and it's sweet and it's fresh and it's fruity and has a bit of green note to it. Uh, it's very aromatic. Like it said, like it was going to be gorgeous. Like it was. This was going to be a gorgeous scent right but for me it was not i did not enjoy that one um i wanted more apple and peony that's supposed to be in it i wanted more of the praline that was in it and i did i just didn't get that one so those two are the two that i had but i did eventually get rid of so if i had to rank my scents of the ones that i do have uh i would say amir no i'm sorry let's go with least to uh to favorite i would say ashwad ashwad would be my least so this would be my four tonka would be my third hamir would be my second only because i think that uh everyone should start off with this one and that's Shargoff Oud, the original. I think you should start off with this one because this will give you the best impression of what the line has to offer and then go with the rest. But again, like I said, if you're looking for Oud Bouquet and this one here, it is not the same, in my opinion. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't remember who asked me to do it. I'm so sorry it took me so long to put this video out. I hope that I did actually give you some great uh, information about Shargaf Oud by Swiss Arabia. It is a, an affordable line. It's a really good affordable line. And I would have links at the bottom to the best price that I can find for you to get them. Uh, very beast mode scent. Gorgeous scent. 
Um, in terms of if you want to have something in your collection that you don't have to over spray, but yet you can smell it constantly, then I think Swiss Arabian Chargaff Oud is the one for you to get. I hope you have enjoyed this. I'm going to wish you a wonderful night, a wonderful day, whenever it was that you got an opportunity to watch this video. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.